Hello everyone and welcome to another very beautiful chess game of Paul Morphy. And I would like to show you another very exciting chess game of Paul Morphy against Thomas Wilson Barnes. And as you know, Thomas Wilson Barnes was a very strong chess master. And in this chess game, Paul Morphy is playing with the black pieces and Thomas Wilson Barnes has the white pieces. And this game was played in London in 1858. So Thomas Wilson Barnes starts the game with playing e4, e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to b5, the Spanish opening, a6, attacking the bishop, bishop to a4, knight to f6, knight to c3, bishop to b4, knight to d5, b5, attacking the bishop, bishop to b3, d6, and after this move, Thomas Wilson Barnes castled bishop to g4, pinning the knight, c3, attacking the bishop, bishop to a5, d4, e takes on d4, knight takes on f6, that's check, queen takes knight, bishop to d5, well, in this position, at first, the first move comes to mind is retreating the bishop and defending the knight. So if moving the knight, white captures the rook, but Paul Morphy played knight to e5, sacrificing the exchange. And Thomas Wilson Barnes captures the rook, bishop takes on a8. And then Paul Morphy played knight takes on f3, g takes on f3, and then bishop takes on f3. And suddenly, Paul Morphy has a killer attack in this position. So if something like king to h1, then knight takes on h2. So queen to d3, and then knight takes rook. g takes on f3, bishop takes on f3 by Paul Morphy. So Paul Morphy is threatening checkmate in this position. Queen to g6, queen to d2. And Thomas Wilson Barnes is hoping to defend the checkmate threat with the queen. Queen to g5, facing the checkmate threat. Well, Paul Morphy played d takes on c3. Queen to g5. And Paul Morphy captures another pawn, c takes on b2. Bishop to c6, check, king to e7. And then capturing the queen. g takes on f6. Bishop to f4 by Thomas Wilson Barnes. So obviously if bishop takes pawn, we have rook to g8. And this is checkmate on the spot. This is checkmate in one move. So that's why Thomas Wilson Barnes desperately played bishop to f4. So if rook to g8, bishop to g3. And actually this is the only defense. Paul Morphy played rook to g8, check. Defending with the bishop and then Paul Morphy captured the rook with the pawn. And Paul Morphy promoted to a queen. And Thomas Wilson Barnes captures the queen. Rook takes on a1. So in this position Paul Morphy has three extra pawns. And positionally and also materially Paul Morphy is crushing his opponent. But Thomas Wilson Barnes didn't resign. And Paul Morphy played f5. Another killer move, the most accurate move by Paul Morphy and also the most annoying move for his opponent. So the pawn is pinned, if pawn takes pawn, bishop takes bishop. Thomas Wilson Barnes played a4, bishop to b6, a takes on b5, f4 by Paul Morphy, the bishop is pinned, b takes on a6, Wilson Barnes captures another pawn. And then Paul Morphy captured the bishop, f takes on g3. And Paul Morphy is a piece up. h takes on g3 and then rook takes on g3. That's check. And the pawn is pinned, so white can't capture the rook. King to h2, rook to g6. Rook to f1, defending the pawn. But then bishop to d4. So Paul Morphy is preparing to play bishop to e5. Wilson Barnes is running away, king to h3, bishop to e5, king to h4, and here comes bishop to f4, and how to defend. 
Well, there is no defense. And Wilson Burns played a7. Maybe he wants to see this very beautiful checkmate. Maybe Wilson Burns was a sportsman after all. So Paul Morphy has checkmate in one move. Well, Paul Morphy played rook to h6. Checkmate. And this is the last position of this very beautiful chess game by Paul Morphy. And look at this very beautiful checkmate. So this game ended at move 30. And please remember that Wilson Barnes was not an ordinary player. He was a very strong chess master for his time. But Paul Morphy was wiping out his opponents like flies. They were nothing for Paul Morphy. And what a crushing defeat for Wilson Barnes. And what a brilliant game for Paul Morphy. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. And I hope to see you next time. Take care.